guys welcome to my channel it is your girl Tabi Malou with another banger always banging to the OG for return of the subscriber baby your love does speak volume and I appreciate you so much to be part of the royalty family or gang you can choose to be either because I am both please do subscribe to my channel like this video comment anything you like down below press the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and that's on period so let us get right into the video yes so the first thing that she taught us is having good communication with your client with your yeah your clients basically having to communicate with them regarding their appointments time making sure they understand getting to know what they want what you can do and what you can't do recommending other people who can do what they want you know we know that we are about making money but having a client leave happy is the most important thing so such things and having clients know how strict you are when it comes to time letting them know the duration of the time you're going to be taking doing their nails is also important so that they know how long they're going to be here for and all of those things the second thing is good behavior or attitude towards the client and yourself in general letting yourself know that you can do this not belittling yourself try challenging yourself try at least try and if you fail then you know that there's something you will do differently next time but not failing in terms of letting go and never doing it again and then having good attitude towards clients having to ask them about their day about themselves about where they reside life just having conversations with them that make them ease ease up be um okay and uh just relaxed and knowing that you know it's not a billing session with someone where you're just sitting there you're doing like they're doing your nails and you're not saying anything you're bored and you get me even when you deal with difficult customers or clients um composure do your work if they still don't like it then you have to refer them to someone else basically you know you refer them to someone else or you try and work it out with them in a good manner you get um as much as this this customer is right base but they need to just know that it's not their mother's houses <laughs> and then what she also taught us is to be clean be clean in your workspace be clean with the utensils you're doing be clean with working with hands be clean with applications be clean with designs be clean be clean be clean because cleanliness is close to godliness right so Having a very clean space is also good and is a good look on your clients as well because they know that this is a very hygienic place, good space, uh, investing in good quality stuff or good props, setups, uh, good fragrance or having good things that just smell good. Um, that and then what else? So stuff like that. And then having to look clean. Your hands be clean, cut, and neat. And if you're doing nails, your own manicures, having them to look short and clean, yes, you can do long nails because you are able to. I think it it's preference when it comes to that, but still looking clean, having uniform on, looking professional, having different towels to change them so that they're not too stained because acrylic can stain towels and it could be hard to get it off. And other things like acetones could dye the towels. So there's a lot of things that, goes into the reason why it's important to have many towels and what else yeah those kind of things and then the next thing that she helped us about is marketing ourselves uh, marketing ourselves on social media that's something i always advocate adver uh, advertising yourself or marketing yourself in social media spaces like i've started on tiktok and it's kind of working out for me people will see your work will see your progress from when you started but she was like don't show them the bad 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 because there will be someone who will always hold that against you but show them the process of you getting better from your mid progression to now being a good working nail tech you know um the process of how you start and how you end you get me so marketing yourself letting people know you where you are from your contact details the different styles that you do um, 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 um so 
things like that and then after that sorry about that i'm not wearing anything down here i'm about to just wear my skirt because you're about to leave but yeah for now that is all and then when we come back i'm just gonna continue with the other things that i learned from uh a beautician school see you guys later so guys the other thing that i learned i'm back we came back very late so i decided to quickly come to this before i settle but the other thing that we learned is how to take care of like broken nails not broken as in like you cut it but like infected nails nails with fungus infections or how to clean them you know because when nails are like that you're not supposed to um uh what's this do pedicures on them but you can treat them and let them grow and be healthy you know so how to take care of that um she taught us so many things styles designs uh, my man just gave me compliments i love it when that guy gives me compliments so that's what i learned and then money management too financial management or financial education was given to us on how to start small and then how to save money um the types of money to save as well by that she meant like um don't be someone who saves only a fixed amount of money every month when it comes to your savings increase it with hundreds or thousands or whatever you can afford every month and don't stick to just a fixed amount so if every month you want to save 100 rand every month add 50 rand or another 100 on top of that but still stay to the beginning amount so she taught us that she taught us that's something that most people do know though um she taught us to have recording books or record um money in books or accounting accounting books you know or ledger books to account money to um pay tax register the business um those type of things so i really don't know how to get in depth so that you understand and lay out the different dynamics or different steps but she just gave us a good financial education um i think that's all i could say and then uh what else does she teach us yeah just letting us know that we shouldn't just stick to the things that we learned if you went to school for all these things but your main focus is just nails it shouldn't be just nails it should also be selling something doing other things within the beauty um beauty career atmosphere just doing so many things that brings different streams of income and letting all the different streams generate themselves or inject money for themselves the profits then buy good supplies and you know but the cost of sale or the amount that is the fixed one for example if you're charging uh if let me just say the things that you bought for makeup amount to 500 and you do makeup for five or other 600 the 100 rand should be what you buy or should be the money you take to add on the material the 500 should be the money that you save it's always there so she told us something like that so i don't know if i'm making sense because in that manner you'll be able to build yourself a place buy proper equipment buy very expensive things you know so she taught us all of those things and how she runs a business and you know and then sometimes i get to i always get to school early so we get to talk and she gets to give me other insights on how she grows a business and how it's still working why she has three shops and they all do different things but within the beauty space and you get me so it's really been a very crazy and amazing journey um what else oh she's a prayer warrior whenever we start anything we start with prayer she starts by praying before every day 10 o'clock we pray before we leave we pray 
um she talks about god she tells us to trust god she always anoints us she always declare good things and just lets us also make it a habit to always start a day with god to invite god in our businesses and our finances within the clients he will be bringing to us you get me so she is one person who is about god for god advocates about like so i love that so yeah those are the things like the god thing really took my place because i didn't think she could be such a prayer warrior and so invested in prayer and you know so i love that even before she opens the shop she will pray over the shop and everything and then we will go in so i kind of took that too like there's a lot of things that i took and i'm going to implement in my upcoming businesses and the one that already exists and yeah so that is it guys those are the things that i learned the other things that i maybe i have forgotten or something i will then put in other vlogs or videos or write them down and have another video of what i learned when the time goes on but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video comment anything you like down below press the notification button so you get notified every time i upload a new video and that is on period so today put it on the girl right here to you whatever you could even bye